Today, dozens of people came together for a silent bicycle ride to remember 13-year-old Michael Weilert. He was killed while biking in a crosswalk in Tacoma. And Fox 13's Matthew Smith is live there for us tonight with more on the ride to remember Michael and the message from his mother. Matt, what she have to say? Well, she really is creating that message for a purpose, and that's to create a legacy for Michael Weiler. She wants to make sure people realize that you can't just drive so carelessly. And one thing that will be reminding people that here near Pacific Avenue and 134th, where he was struck and killed, is this. It's known as a ghost bike. These bikes, you may have seen them throughout the metro area here because anytime a cyclist dies, people like to put these up. It kind of draws your attention to the fact that this happened. And speaking of the ride that you just mentioned, Jamie, it was pretty clear today that Michael has touched many, many lives. In fact, we saw close to 100 riders and cyclists today. Michael's mom, Amber, telling me and later the crowd, it's a rare day for her. She smiled, something she hasn't been able to muster for quite some time, ever since this happened, really. Today's ride is especially important because it made these cyclists visible. Many telling me that this is why they wanted to take part. They wanted to be seen. They wanted to be part of Michael's legacy. His parents have been telling Fox 13 since this happened in mid-July. They are putting their voices out there because they want people to think twice about what it means to be behind the wheel and to share space with people on bikes. Michael probably has 20 friends here today. And... I couldn't imagine something like this happening to them or their parent having to feel this way. And I want to make sure that it doesn't happen to them. And so in a way, she's found a community. She's found her voice. And, you know, she mentioned those 20 friends. We saw some of those friends here at the memorial where I'm standing now, and the friends who've been leaving messages and flowers behind for Michael ever since this happened. Tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to hear now later going to be digging down into the numbers, the amount of pedestrians and bicyclists that are hit and killed on streets just like this one off of Pacific Avenue regularly every year. The numbers pretty staggering. We bring those down to, or break those down for you tonight at 10. We're live in Parkland. Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.